Now we're going to key the underneath coverage, which is the middle linebacker. While dropping back, we're going to take a look at what the linebackers are doing. If they drop, we're going to hit the drag. If they jump or wall the drag, we'll go for the dig. Here's what that play looks like. Now I've arrowed the defender we're looking at, which is the middle linebacker. We're going to read what he does. Even though he initially drops, he sees the drag and jumps it, so we go ahead and throw the dig. Notice that the quarterback anticipates that the outside receiver running the dig is going to be open and he throws it a little bit early. It's really important that quarterbacks anticipate that receivers are going to be open and throw it at the appropriate time. Don't wait for the receiver to get open because then it's too late. Now here's a picture of the next play we're going to look at. It's the same read even though it's a different pattern structure. The defender we're going to read is the middle linebacker. I've arrowed where he's coming from. Now normally if you run a drag right now, the middle linebacker is going to anticipate it and jump the route, which is going to get your dig open. Now let's look at our next play. That's what it's going to look like. The man's going to go in motion and he will run the drag. There's the defender that we are keen, which happens to be the middle linebacker. It looks like he's blitzing right now. but he drops back and jumps the drag, so the dig is open. Again, if you know which defender you're keen, the reads become much, much easier. Now let's look at this play from the quarterback's perspective. I've arrowed the defender we are keen. From this perspective you can see that it's a pretty easy read once the quarterback knows who he's keen. Here's a picture of our next play. The receiver at the top of the screen is going to go in motion. I've arrowed the defender we are keen. What happened was the defender turned his shoulders to the tight end. So the quarterback immediately came off and threw the drag route. Now the fullback coming out of the backfield is taking care of that outside linebacker. Here's a view from the quarterback's perspective. You see the defender turned his shoulders so the quarterback immediately comes off and throws the swing. Now we'll take a look at our next play. Now what I did was I delayed the drag. There's the defender we're keying. He's hidden by the referee. By delaying the drag, usually you'll always get it because the linebackers are concerned with the receivers closer to them taking vertical releases. Now we're going to move on to our next read, the square in read. The square in read is going to be a little bit different because you run a square in from the two receiver side. You're not going to seam it at all. If anything, you're going to use a burst release or an attack release. Now here's what our first play is going to look like. We're going to run it out of a four receiver set Number five is going to go in motion, and we're going to key those two de defenders right there. Notice what the flat route does to the strong safety. And the Sam backer is occupied by the tight end or the Y receiver running a dig. Again, once you know who you're keying, the reads are pretty easy. Here's what our next play is going to look like. This is a little easier read. We're going to key that defender right there, which is probably the strong safety. If he stays on that number two receiver, we'll throw to the outside receiver. 
He turns his shoulder to go with the inside slot receiver so the quarterback made the right choice and went to the outside receiver running the square in. Again, anticipate that the receiver is going to be open so you can throw it on time. Here's what our next play is going to look like. Now what we're going to do is key that linebacker right there. He's going to end up sitting on the hitch route run by the number two receiver so we can throw over the middle to the outside receiver running the square in. Again, you got to come off the ball full speed. Now we're going to talk about a curl read. We're going to key the outside flat defender, which could be the outside linebacker, the strong safety, or even a cornerback. We're just going to throw away from that flat defender. Here's what our first play is going to look like. We're going to throw to the left of the screen. I've arrowed the defender we're going to key. If he goes with the swing, we'll throw the curl. He starts to drop to the curl, but then jumps the swing. And again, the quarterback throws it on time. He anticipates he's going to be open and throws it at the appropriate time. Don't wait for the guy to get open. Anticipate when he's going to get open. Now let's look at another play. We're going to throw to the right of the screen. Instead of having the back run a swing route, we're going to have him run a flat route. There's the defender we're keen. I have him arrowed. Again, because the back is in front of him, the linebacker has a tendency to jump him, especially when you've thrown to that guy early. If you never throw to the backs, those linebackers have no reason to cover the backs. Here's our next play. Now we're going to have the tight end go into the flat. We're going to key that defender I have arrowed right there. He jumps our tight end and now our Z receiver is open. Now we're going to talk about a sideline read. A sideline is a 12 yard speed out run by the number one receiver. Versus cover two, all our 12 yard speed outs are going to turn into fades. Here's a picture of our first play. I have the defender that we are keen arrowed. We're going to try to anchor him with that hitch route. There's no way he's going to get underneath our sideline route and it'll be wide open. Here's a picture of our next play. It's very similar to the play we ran earlier, only now we're running out of a four wide receiver set. I've arrowed the defender we are keen. The quarterback's rule is that if he has anybody disrupting the number two receiver, go ahead and give it to the number one receiver. You can see that the defender we have keyed clearly tries to jam our number two receiver, so the quarterback is going to anticipate and throw to the outside receiver for the first down.